Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. We are back, baby. Welcome back, everybody, uh, to a brand new playthrough on this channel. That, of course, being Skyrim Legendary Hardest Difficulty. Yada, yada, yada. Now, before anyone says it, yeah, I know it's coming. GV doing Skyrim again. Wow. I know. Hey, listen. I only play what I want to play. I've been wanting to play Skyrim for a while now. I've been wanting to do it in some capacity. I was thinking about what could we do. I was thinking about maybe even VR. Maybe a legendary playthrough. Maybe a modded playthrough. Maybe a short role-played playthrough. I've been wanting to play it. Uh, genuinely. Like, you know, I could do it off camera, but I imagine most people would want to see it. So, that's why we're here. This is going to be a legendary playthrough of Skyrim. The hardest difficulty. And boy, I did some research. And boy, it seems to be actually super duper difficult. And boy, only certain builds seem to be even viable. But we're going to do our best with it. We're going to have some fun with it. It's going to be a shorter series, I would imagine, to take a break away from the 100% Fallout New Vegas series. And I think we're going to jump right in because I always talk way too much in the intros. Let's do it. New. Yes! the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. Now hold on a second. So I don't think we can adjust the settings whatsoever until we jump into the actual game. The quest journal lists your quests and objectives. Select a quest and press A to make it the active quest, which adds it to target, which adds its quest target to your compass and world map. Amazing. Uh, looks like, can we, yes. All right, so this is important, obviously. We're going to go through the settings real quick, since that's the entire point of this playthrough, mainly. Uh, we're going to jack up the look sensitivity a bit. I like having a bit of sensitivity. This is on Steam, on Skyrim Legendary Edition, with an Xbox One controller. Boop, boop, difficulty, bam. Max difficulty, which is legendary. If you're unfamiliar with Skyrim's difficulties, it goes novice, apprentice, adept, which is, I guess you could consider, you know, easy, or very easy, easy, normal, hard, uh, you know, very hard, and then legendary, which is the hardest. So we're going to do legendary, of course. All this stuff should be fine. Save on character menu. I usually have that disabled, I do believe. Display. Brightness uh, can probably be jacked up just two points, considering YouTube usually darkens these videos. Hud opacity is maxed uh that's weird i wonder if that's gonna make it oh op opaque no i think it's fine though actually go down here dialogue subtitles yes general subtitles yes and depth of field should be fine audio what we want to do here is max out the voice uh master is good effects are good footsteps are good music is good okay Let's save that. Let's go to controls. Everything should be normal. It's going to take me a little bit to get back into it. It's been a while since I've played Skyrim. And we should be good. They hadn't been looking for you. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? McDonald's? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. 
Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rayloff being bleak as hell as Rorstead. usual. I'm, 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 I'm from, from Rorstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. It ain't happening, bud. Sorry. I've seen your fate many, many times. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. No, not whatsoever, Rayloff. Why don't you stop assuming things, buddy? Not a good habit to get into. Also, General Tullius is the same voice actor that voiced this Doc Mitchell. Elgin. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vlad is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so sick. Why do you think? End of the line. Rayloff is seriously much more bleak in this opening than I even remember. Gosh. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Although I guess he's oh, wait, right. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them. We worked with you. This is a mistake. Get towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Rayloff of Riverwood. <laughs> Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Here we go! Who are you? <laughs> there it is. Uh, okay, let's do this. So I do have a plan. Uh, we did some polls on Twitter and on the YouTube channel. By the way, there's the community tab on my YouTube channel if you ever want to be a part of those. Uh, I do think YouTube is pretty good with giving people notifications about that. Uh, now, if only they would give people notifications of my actual videos. <laughs> but that's YouTube, I suppose. Um, so the main two choices were going to be between a Breton Conjurer for legendary difficulty... Uh, Conjuration seems to be the way to go. Bretons seem to be the way to go because they get a natural 25% resistance to magic, uh, plus some other magic stuff. So conjure, uh, Conjuration doesn't actually get the penalties to damage or whatever. So if you conjure something, it's going to deal the same damage to an NPC as you would on like a normal difficulty. So Conjuration is pretty easy, but a lot of people said, and I agree, that, you know, we did Adrenoch in the 100% playthrough. We did a lot of Conjuration with Thorn and Spike, so it'd be kind of too similar, and I totally agree. So I'm glad that there was a lot of people picking either a Dark Elf uh, sneak character or a an Orc sneak character, and I'm glad that that's what was chosen. So just to run through in case you're totally new to Skyrim, who the hell would be watching this that's totally new to Skyrim, but I'm sure there's one. Argonian, Lizard People, Breton, uh, white dude, I guess, uh, but also French and magic, a dark elf, a typical dark elf in any fantasy series, um, not typical, but you know what I mean, otherwise known as Dunmer, high elf, Altmer, uh, high mages think very high of themselves, you'll notice high is a common theme with them, imperial, uh, white dude number two, basically, I guess you're more European? Good race? I don't know. Well, obviously, a lot of this stuff's based on typical fantasy tropes. Imperials, I guess, would be your Romans, you know, kind of. Uh, that's why they're kind of called Imperials, I would assume. Nevertheless, um, we've got Khajiit, uh, the cat peeps, really popular. We've got the Nords. Skyrim belongs to the Khajiit. Uh, we've got, yeah, typical, uh, you know, Nordlings with their frost resistance and their 
uh, racism and stuff. Orcs. Always got to have orcs in a fantasy series. Red guards and wood elves. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. We're going to go with, what do you think it's going to be? Dark elf? Do you think it's going to be orc? Well, guess what? It's orc. The people of the Rothgarian and Dragon Tail Mountains. Orcish smiths are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are among the finest in the empire and are fearsome when using their berserker rage. They should have gave you, uh, given you some sort of you know indication as to what berserker rage means, but it's very good. Let's just say that. So we are gonna go uh, orc. Yes, we're gonna go to the body. Now here we go. Um, I was thinking about doing a female playthrough. Uh, honestly, that'd be pretty cool. Man, should I make an audible at the last second here? No, I think I was going into this thinking male. Yeah, although I do need to start doing some female playthroughs because they're few and far between on my channels. I just usually go for, you know, characters that are some expression of me, right? So, I, I'm a male. So that's, you know, what I usually play as. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go through all of this. I rarely play as orcs. I've done it a couple of times in Skyrim, I think. Not completed playthroughs. So we're gonna go through all of this, and I'll see you all in just a second. No oh, man! Check that out. Pretty proud with that one. Yeah, wanted some, wanted to do some things I don't normally do. So we got the spikes, we got the war paint, we got the blood red eyes. Messed around with, uh, using white eyes, white paint, red eyes, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, that sort of stuff. But I think that looks really cool, man. I really am happy with how this orc came out. Bam! Finish and name your character. Yes, sir. So, here's where it gets interesting. This character's name is going to be Grogan. I think I spelled it like that. Or did I spell it like that? Grogan? 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 Bro? Ball? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Grogon. Well, I actually like Grogon, though. Grogon. Gro. Not bro. Balmog. Maybe that sounds a little bit familiar, huh? Grogon. Gro Balmog. Yes. Uh, let me just make sure that's spelled correctly. I'm a nerd for this sort of stuff. It looks good. Boom. You from one of the strongholds, Zork. How did you end up here? Captain. What should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your men are turned to Orsini. Follow the Captain prison. Yeah, that's not cool at all. I'm not on the list. You racists. You're a racist. Gonna kill an orc, huh? Just because he's an orc. Oh, sorry, you're not on the list. Well, thanks. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp, usurp his, his throne. throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yeah, sure it's nothing. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. <laughs> I love that guy every single time. Come on, I haven't got all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Love that insult. And off with his head. Just rolls on in. Pretty brutal for like, isn't this game rated you teen? Bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the orc! There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Man, I don't know what I would do in this situation. I think I would pull a, uh, whatever his name is. I'm from Rorikstead. Rorikstead. Uh, I really wouldn't just accept death, I don't think. I mean, I know I'd probably die still, but what if the arrow misses a shot? Would you run away? What if you get out of it? There's a chance. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the clouds. Imagine! What do you mean, what do you see? <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody can see the giant black evil dragon. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, man, let's do it. All righty. So, let's make a save. Here we go. By the way, oh, where are my other saves? I did see we still have the Adronach save, although it's not showing me here for some reason. Uh, we're going to make a new save. And here we go. This is on Legendary, di legendary Difficulty, of course. So, that's going to be the main point of this series in particular. My first ever Legendary playthrough. Um, never played this game, I think, over adept. It's just, you know, usually I play for the story and for the quest completion, not for the difficulty. So, yeah, based on my research, this is going to be tricky, to say the least. But the legend of it needs to move some of these rocks to clear the way. Oh, don't worry, those rocks will be moved. <laughs> as well as you. Hey, what up, man? See you later. Whew. I'm gonna hop over your head real quick, if you don't mind. Let's head down here. Hammond, you need to get over here. Now! Doing great. Coral! Still alive, prisoner. Nah, man. I ain't keeping close to you. We gotta get this moving. Also, let's increase the look sensitivity. Let, yeah, let's increase the look sensitivity a bunch. I usually have, have pretty high sensitivity uh, when I use a controller. Oh, man. This is still slow as hell. Really? Wait. Where's the controls at? Is there like a... No, that's just literally controls. Man, this feels so slow. I'm gonna have to jack this up way up there. Okay. What up, Alduin? Excuse me. Yeah, no, I'm getting into the keep. I know you said soldier, and that's not me. I ain't fighting for you, but... Yeah, I am running for my life. You're not stopping us this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all the sovereign guard. That's rude. Yeah, come on. Into the keep. Okay, so we can choose between Hadvar or Roloff. Rayloff. We're going with Rayloff. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't think our character here. Grogan. Grogon. We gotta figure out how to pronounce his name first and foremost. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to do copious saves also. F5? Quick saving. Sweet. That F5 button is gonna be worn out by the end of this playthrough. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here, let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take Gunnar's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Messed up, dude. Aren't Nords all about honor and stuff? Okay, we got an Iron War Axe, which we're going to hit the right trigger to equip in our right hand. We've got the Stormcloak Curus, which is light armor. We're going to hit the right trigger to equip it immediately. And the Fur Boots, which are also light armor. Down there where the armor rating is, it's showing us that plus six is going to give us plus six armor uh, above what our current armor rating is. Bam! All right. Get that armor on. Get that axe a few seconds. I'm going to see if I can find some way out of here. Sweet! Now, before you do that, let's hotkey all of our stuff. So, usually characters in Skyrim start with certain things. Uh, you get a racial power. The racial power are actually usually pretty good. Uh, like, with the High Elf, with uh, Adronach. It would, uh, what was it? It was like it would regen magic quite fast for 30 or 60 seconds. The Orc gets Berserker Rage. You take half damage and do double damage for 60 seconds. That is insanity. We're going to favorite it. Uh, then we have Flames and we have Healing. We're going to favorite uh, Healing as well because that's going to come in handy also. Uh, I don't think we have anything else in the items. We don't really start with anything. We start with foot wraps and rough spun tunic, and that's about it. Uh, we're going to make a new save, or not a new one. We're going to save over here. I really have to be careful that I don't save any over uh, over any files that I don't want to save over on. This one's locked. Let's see about that gate. Let's see about it. Okay, I'm checking to see if my pit boy light is on or off because of all the fall at New Vegas I've been playing lately. Damn. No way to open this from our side. Yeah, don't worry about that, man. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Also, here we have our favorites menu if we hit up on the D-pad. Berserker Rage, we're going to activate. And healing, we're going to put in our left hand since our left hand is empty. Uh, we hit the right bumper in order to activate Berserker Rage, which again is going to double our damage for 60 seconds. And we're going to take half as much damage. Come on, the soldier. Keep moving. Cover. Get this gate open. And another quick save here. And let's try to sneak attack. Okay. Now let's see how much damage they do to us. Because it's probably going to be a lot. We're going to activate... 
Berserker Rage now. And go for this guy first and foremost. So we can get the AI on a loop here, so he's not really able to attack me much. Man, they're not dealing that much damage to us. Bye-bye. Good night. Oh, sorry, Rayloff. <laughs> Yeah, so already the bullet sponge, the bullet sponging is happening. Your stamina is low, which may prevent you from sprinting or using power attacks. Drink a potion or wait for it to recover. What do you mean, is that your best? You're literally about to die, lady. Good night. Maybe one of these superiors have the key. You think? Okay, let's search the captain. Uh, we're gonna put, I don't think it matters. Okay, so let's see. We're going to figure this out now. So let's see. Um, I think we want heavy armor to start considering we don't have much in the way of sneaking. So here we have heavy armor, imperial armor. You can see down there again, plus five to our armor rating. So we're going to hit the right trigger to equip it. The helmet, plus 19 because we don't have a helmet. So it's a big boost. The boots, plus five. The bracers, plus 11. The dagger, huh. Let's put that in our left. Actually, no. Helgen Keep Key, very important. Imperial Sword. Uh, I think we want to take everything. We got a 300 carry weight. Not bad. Door. Let's get out of here. Hold on, buddy. So this is going to be light armor. I wonder, I guess that was designed correctly, where, like, they give you a choice between the light or heavy. In fact, shoot, now that I think about it, I think we do want to equip the light armor. Um, how does it affect your sneaking? It does, right? If you're wearing heavy armor, I'm forgetting. I mean, definitely. If they did their work, that's that would have been how it is. So I think, in fact, we're going to take the... No, we'll use the heavy armor for now, but we will take all of this. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, our HP does regenerate, which is good. Been playing the That's Witcher 3. Come on. Let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Yeah, man. Why don't you relax? Uh, have been playing the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt recently, and your health doesn't regen on hard mode. Um, unless you take certain things. So, it was, uh, I was confused for a little second there. Okay. Press LT to block. That's not true, because pressing LT just heals us up. Quick save. Constantly quick saving. I don't think we'll go much in the way of sneaking, uh, since our sneak is so incredibly low. Rip those people, I guess. But, we do need to start building up our sneak Damn, ASAP. Dragon give up easy. Grab. Grab what? Sorry? Oh, boy. Okay. Do we have our ability back? Oh, yeah. It can only be used once a day. Grab. Okay. So, here we go. Oh my god, so not much in the way of tactics to start with. This is why I definitely didn't want to do just a standard warrior playthrough. I feel like it would have been really boring. No more. I yield. I you yield? Back. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> good night. Okay, so our one hand is increasing, which is really good. We need to get that up as soon as possible. Oh my god. <laughs> the bullet sponging him, Jesus. Okay, good night. Uh, let's see. So again, we have a 300 carry weight down there. We're just going to be taking everything to start. See if you can find any potions. We'll need them. Oh, you have no idea, buddy. Yeah, we're going to be taking food too. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to start being much more meticulous with what I take in terms of alchemical ingredients, in terms of food to heal, in terms of rest restorative stuff, all sorts of things. Okay, what do we have in here? Potion of Minor Healing, three. Minor Magic of Minor Stamina, sweet. Also, searching the sacks. Obviously, if they say empty, they're empty. No need to search them. But we are looking for things like that, things like that. Um, Let's see. Oh, my gosh, I forgot. Every single time I start an Elder Scrolls playthrough, people say every single time when I miss anything at all. And I just want to say right here and now, Relax. It's gonna be okay if we miss one jewel. It's gonna be okay if we miss one thing, one, you know, one one pheasant, one rabbit. It's gonna be just fine. Yes, this is a hard difficulty, so more than ever, I need to really min-max in terms of uh, what I pick up and stuff and, you know, focus on getting the right things, but it's going to be just fine. Trust me. I know you want me to pick up every single thing. I like having a clean inventory, and I like just being efficient with my time and moving through stuff at a decent pace. Hey, there's some garlic. Wow, couldn't find that in Oblivion, am I right? 
So it's just let me play the way. Yeah, I guess I should say this at the start of every new playthrough. Let me please play the way that I want to play. It's going to make for the best let's play. I promise you. Okay, let's move on, buddy. Done. Let's get moving. I am done. Yeah, sorry. I had to. I had to say that. By the way, where are the people? I guess they got crushed by all of that. Okay, another quick save. Oh, uh, we could equip another weapon in our left hand. I'm not sure if there's much of a reason to at this point in time. Also, let's show off the magic. We do have a magic bar. So let's go ahead and waste that first and foremost. Now here we have a whole bunch of people fighting. Since we sided with Rayla, the torturer is going to be against us. I don't want to hit my friends. So we will burn the torturer's assistant alive. Magicka low. Your magicka is low, which may prevent you from casting spells. Drink a potion or wait for it to recover. No, I just want to burn it. Literally burn it. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go into our items, weapons, and we have two swords. Uh, so what is the damage here? Nine damage on the Imperial Swords. Uh, nine damage on the Iron War Axe. I think the War Axe might swing a little bit faster. Probably not. Probably swings the same speed as this. So we'll put that there and that there. I yield, I yield. And now we're dual wielding. You yield? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> okay, let's stab this man in the face. Oh, 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 oh. Bam! I, I said bam. I said Man, look at his HP regen. Adios, muchacho. Was Jarl Ulfric with you? No, I haven't seen him since the dragon showed up. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might need that gold once we get out. Yeah, you ain't getting that gold. Grab it's mine. Useful and let's go. Okay, give me a second here. Everybody lives. Isn't that crazy? Cue the uh, cue the uh, 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 Doctor Who joke, huh? Hello, Mr. Scally. He's just hanging out. Get it? Hanging out? <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. A lot of people miss this sort of stuff. We've got an iron shield. We've got an iron mace. Uh, we'll talk about some of the more OP legendary strats as we get into this playthrough. Um, there are different strategies. I was trying to find a good balance between... Lockpick? Lockpick. Uh, iron dagger. I was trying to find a good balance between... Um... Something that wasn't too cheesy, but while also being, you know, not something incredibly difficult. Like, just a straight-up warrior is extremely hard, from what I understand. So, I didn't want to go Conjuration, because that is pretty cheesy. We've got a Novice. Uh, this is lockpicking. Same thing as, you know, in every other... Elder Scrolls are... Well, not really. It's not in every other one, because Oblivion's quite different. And in Morrowind, I don't even think there's a UI. You literally just hit something until the roll is correct, right? Uh, we're gonna lock everything for the lockpicking experience. Let's do... Come on. Come on! Don't you break on me with a... Don't... Come on now. Okay, let's do that. Thank you so much. Uh, move back a, a tad bit just to let the door swing open. Uh, you can see down there we have our lockpicking skills at 15 right now. And, yeah, we definitely want to use as much stuff as we can so that we can level up faster and get more damage. Uh, we've got a potion of magicka, which is mana. Got a spell tome sparks. Got a mage who has some gold, some magicka potions, a novice hood, and novice robe. So this is here if you're choosing a mage character and you want to get some mage stuff right off the bat. We've got a knapsack. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a book of the dragonborn. A little bit of uh, money there. An iron dagger. We'll take this guy's steel dagger. Oh, he's got a torturer's hood. I always forget if that's unique or not. We'll take it just in case. Uh, Do we loot this guy, the assistant? He's got a mace. Thank you. Moving right along. Okay. Again, you can open these doors to get some experience. You can see we're right about to get to level 16 lockpicking. And there it is. And does that give us our first level up? Oh my god, we've done it. Legendary playthrough? More like legendarily easy. <laughs> Just a joke between us gamers. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Again, getting more experience. You can see it's already down there. Yeah, close to um, level 17. Not close, but, you know, we're, we're already getting some decent progress. Lock picking goes up pretty fast, at least in the early stages. Okay, another quick save. GV, you have a level, a level up. Yes, I know. I'm holding off on it, though. It's going to be strategic. Just wait. Okay, god, that is far too small of a cage. That is not cool. That is not cool, dude. Really not cool. I'm glad we sided with the Stormcloaks this time around. I think our character definitely would. Relax, dude. Relax. If I don't pick up literally every single thing, people are gonna yell at me. They always do. Better to stick together down here. Yeah, I'd say so. Especially because this is legendary, man. It is better to stick together. 
Okay, well let's keep it moving too. Are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Just give the general some time. Okay, so one thing we can do is actually wait a day to restore our berserk power, berserker rage power. Okay, so there we go. We got as much sneak as we possibly could. Oh god, let's not miss right off the bat. <laughs> wow! Isn't that fun? Okay, dude. <laughs> you are not making this easy on me. Let's go to magic and let's favorite the uh, flames as well. Just so that when we have a full magic bar. I don't think it matters if we burn our friends, by the way. So we'll do that. And then I guess I need to also favorite these bullcrap. Uh, bullcrap? God, I don't think I've ever said that. Yeah, let's favorite that and let's favorite that. Just so we can quickly activate them again. Go for the people on the ground. I'm just going to be hitting my friends by accident. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys go get the arrow dude. There's a couple of arrow dudes in the distance while I loot these people. Thanks for the arrows. Okay, yeah, now we're going to start being... Oh, wow, we're already 50 gold off of our carry weight limit. Uh, we'll get the longbow, so we have a ranged option. And let's loot this guy. Arrows don't weigh anything, so you want to pick them all up. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're not going to pick up anything else for this dungeon. At least for now. We'll see in just a second. Okay. Want to see something cool you can do that every single person in the comment section already knows? Watch this. Oh my god, look at that. They're all on fire. And I've killed my friends, it would seem. Man, they are taking... Wow, they are really able to uh, outlast that fire, aren't they? Usually on normal difficulty, these people burn to death like immediately. Okay, that was kind of shitty. All right. Dodge and weave, left and right. Look at our health bar, make sure we don't die. We are on legendary difficulty, so we have to be much more careful than usual. Let's go on ahead. Yes, give me a second though, friend. See if what hold on, hold on, hold on. Got some stuff Clear. to loot. So sorry, Stormcloak soldier. Uh, iron battle axe. Ooh, that should be two-handed, I think. Yeah, uh, and it weighs 20. And it's only valued at 55, which I think like cut in half, basically. That's how much gold you're going to get from selling it to somebody, so not worth it. Watch in case Ulfric comes through here. Okay, that kind of sounds like you're just opting to not fight, but you do you, friend. Let's make another quick save. Throw the lever. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. I'm very scared of a certain enemy in this place that's coming up. We'll see if we can handle it. Uh, we're going to not put a focus on the lore... Yeah, you can say that again. The rest of them will have to find another way out. Okay, fair enough. All right, so yeah, I'm. Uh, we're gonna put not the focus, obviously, on the dialogue or the lore or the cutscenes, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is mainly gonna be about gameplay and trying to figure out how the hell to get through this difficulty. So far, I mean, so good to be honest. It's not as bad as I was expecting. I did a lot of research, mainly through Reddit threads. You know what people thought of this difficulty. And a lot of people were very critical of it. Uh, we'll see what I think about it. You know, I've never played on this. One gold. Thank you so much, Skelly. Uh, what is over here? Wait a second. Whoa, seriously. Where is... What is this? I don't think I usually go this route. Huh. Not that there's anything over there. But anyways, um, yeah, a lot of people were pretty critical on it. Crit pretty critical of it. Of the difficulty, because enemies are super duper bullet sponges, which is why I definitely wanted to choose either a conjurer or a sneak character. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people want to see me just roll through with a warrior, but okay, want to see a trick? Watch this. Wait, wait, can we not do it? You cannot wait in this location. Okay, never mind, no trick. All right, let's go, buddy. Okay, so GV, you have a level up. Yes, I know. We're still holding it. You'll see why. Don't worry. Okay, that's one down. You have been poisoned. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Yes, I know my health is low. Thank you. Now, check this out. Bam! When your level increases, you must choose to increase your health, magica, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time, or save it for later. Available perks are highlighted in each constellation. 
So, when you level up, you have to choose one of three options here. Magicka, Health, and Stamina. This being a... Well, you'll see what type of playthrough it is. We're going to be focusing on these two. A lot of people didn't want to see Mage, because I have a gigantic 100% series where we played as a Mage. Uh, probably the best series I've ever done, bar none, I think. But, I think we'll start with he uh, Health, and then increase some Stamina when we can. So, Health... And then, since we're an orc, we start with some higher levers. Uh, higher... Bleah, 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 bleah. Okay. Let's talk and make sense. Since we're an orc, we start with some higher level... Uh, Jesus! Level skills. God, what's harder? The legendary difficulty or me being able to speak? Um, so, you can see the base is 15 for all these skills. But some of them, i.e. the warrior skills, are going to be higher. Heavy armor 25, smithing, enchanting. Yeah, we get some racial bonuses for being an orc. Now, you can probably guess what we're going to go down. We actually have to choose that now. Oh, boy. This choice right here could actually end up screwing us. Um, all right. So, what we're going to be focusing on for this playthrough is one-handed. Let me make absolutely sure. It's been a while since I played Skyrim. Um, yeah. So, two-handed means holding a weapon with two hands. One-handed, you can either hold a weapon in one hand or a shield, or you can do dual wield. We're going to go dual wield. Which means we're going to be focusing on one-handed and sneak to get those sneak damage bonuses and to, you know, get the one-handed bonuses. Now, I think sneak is going to be better to put into ASAP. So, you are 20% harder to detect when sneaking. We have one perk. Is that worth it? Or should we increase damage? Actually, let's take a look at one-handed. It should be... Yeah, usually the first perk is always just damage. Yep, one-handed weapons do 20% more damage. I think that's going to help us out more. So we're going to go with that. Armsman. Okay, very nice. So we have all automatically 20% more damage. Boom, baby. Okay, now take a look at our health. It's gone up all the way to the top. So one thing we're really going to have to do in this playthrough. Look at that damage. Ooh, that is nice. Ooh. Okay. Hate those steps. So, this is another thing we're really going to have to pay attention to. Picking up stuff that's going to help us out. I.e. poisons. Frostbite venom. Thank you. Too many eyes. Oh. Yeah, why you got to hate on how many eyes they have? I have two. Is that too many for you as well? Jeez. Brayloff is pretty freaking judgmental now, isn't he? Did we loot this little guy? We did not. Ooh, bet you thought I'd miss it, didn't you? Okay. Let's continue on. Make another quick save. That was relatively painless. Not literally, though, because we did take some pain there. Okay. Rayloff, if you could tell me about the sneak mechanic, that would be magnificent. Where the heck are you at, buddy? Come on, keep it up. Oh, man, we need to max out sneak ASAP, too. Because I need my stealth roll. I really, really do. Coin purse. Thank you. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. Do you know me, Rayloff? Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. It might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Okay. I mean, yeah, seriously. Do you know who I am, dude? We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not sneaking past. Although, okay, so we do want to get higher sneak. Oh, God, that was quick. Okay, so we are going to start off with some flames. Waste our mana bar. Sneaking is overrated. Exactly right. Boom, boom. Alright, let's tear this bear up! Not too bad. Not too shabby. Iron arrow. Let's eat some bear claws. Yum. And bear pelts we need for a certain miscellaneous quest if we decide to turn that in. So we will start stocking them up if we go that route. Uh, isn't there a treasure pile or something? Or am I thinking of Oblivion? I think I'm definitely thinking of Oblivion. There's a big treasure pile. Or is it here? No. I think I am thinking of Oblivion. God, if I miss that, I will never hear the end of it. Okay, let's continue on, pal. Look at that. We made it out of the Totora Tunnel in 40 minutes. That is a new, a new record! Oh, God. Okay, yeah. So when you step into a bunch of bones like that, they can all glitch out and actually damage you so you t like seriously you have to be careful it's funny i'm not even kidding yeah new record man we made it out in 40 minutes that is not bad like the way out i 
knew we'd make it. Yeah, me too, man. I mean, I what I was hoping we'd make it. So far, legendary. Let me just make sure we are on legendary difficulty, right? Because that actually wasn't nearly as bad as I was expecting. Yeah. Okay. All right. New record and on legendary difficulty. Let's head out to Skyrim. Wait. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We'd better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Alrighty! Are you? Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say. Alrighty, so that begins our adventure in Skyrim Legendary Difficulty. Uh, I'm excited for this. Yeah, like I said, the fun for me for this series is going to be trying to figure out how to do certain things. Trying to figure out how are we going to get past bosses using certain, you know, magic uh, powers, using certain items to get a decent level of power early and stuff like that. And just trying to get through the hardest difficulty. Uh, yes, there are some valid criticisms such as this game, or, you know, hard difficulty being more about, oh, wow. We don't even kill a rabbit in one hit, Jesus. Uh, you know, hard difficulty being more about you dealing less damage, enemies dealing more. I understand that. But also, it does present a challenge of how are we going to get past certain things. Also, this is the best I've ever ran Skyrim because this is on my relatively new PC. And gosh, it is smooth as a baby's bottom. This is on Special Edition, so it's got some nice shaders. looks a lot prettier. And uh, yeah, we're not going to be using mods. Everybody always wants me to, but I prefer the developer intended experience but gv the developer intended to use my look this is how i like to play just let me play the way that i want to play we're gonna have some fun i promise all right so anyways i am very excited for this uh it's gonna be mainly like a main quest slash maybe one guild playthrough a lot shorter than a typical elder scrolls playthrough especially one that i would do main challenge being of course getting past the difficulty but nevertheless, that is the first episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to the patrons at the end of this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch more, I stream live on Twitch. I might be live right now. The schedule and link is below. If you want to support me and go the extra mile, consider becoming a patron on Patreon. You get a lot of perks and help me continue to do this. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.